Hi, I'm Brian Ritchie, medical exercise specialist. I wanted to give you a brief overview of spinal anatomy today. So first, let's talk about what anatomy we're gonna be talking about. They're going to be the spinal stabilizers as well as spinal mobilizers, okay? We have two different types of muscles in our body, stabilizers and mobilizers. One helps the muscle or the bones to stay in place that really help to guide them where they're supposed to be, they're deep to the spine. Then we have mobilizers that are a little bit more superficial. You can actually feel these if you reach to your back, you can feel these muscles. So, let's talk about the spinal stabilizers first. There's four of them, okay? First is called intertransversari. It's gonna go from transverse process to transverse process. Okay, so if I'm looking at the spine here, the part that sticks out the back, okay, is your spinous process. Then you have your transverse process, which is kind of like your ears, they stick out from the side, okay? Intertransversari goes from transverse process to transverse process. So I'm gonna take this little piece of clay and I'm gonna put from transverse process to transverse process. Now just imagine they're going up and down the entire length of the spine. Now we have the interspinalis, where they're gonna go from spinous process to spinous process. Now we have our rotatories. These are muscles that are actually going to, if these considered straight up and down, these muscles are going to be more for a little bit of preventative of rotation. It's gonna prevent rotation and assist a little bit with rotation. They're bifurcated, okay? They have two heads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it from the spinous process of one vertebrae to the transverse process of the one below it and the one two below it. Okay, so from the spinous process to transverse process, one below, and transverse process, two below. And finally, we're going to do the multifidi. Multifidi are actually gonna span from the spinous process of one vertebrae, down two vertebrae, and they're going to go down three vertebrae to the transverse process, and finally, even down to four. Now, if you can just imagine all of this put together, okay, this is just coming off of one single spinous process. So we're talking about a single unit here. Now imagine this all the way up and down your spine. You can see how this creates a webbing, creates a web-like effect to really help to stabilize our spine and keep it in proper orientation. Okay, now, the interesting thing about these muscles are they are, their nerve innervation is actually segmented. So you can actually turn off just one section of them. So you can have good muscle contractions all the way down except for one area which it actually shuts it off and that can lead to instability. So a lot of the exercises that you're gonna be learning are going to teach you how to stabilize or restabilize your spine by turning these muscles back on. Now, those are our deep muscles. Let's talk about the superficial muscles, more of the mobilizing muscles. Let me do it on our little friend here, okay? And I'm actually gonna remove that. What we're gonna do is, if you can see here, we have a piece of yellow clay already here, okay? Those are going to be the multifidi, rotatories, intertransversari, interspinalis, okay? Then we have on top of that our erector spinae. It's a group of muscles three muscles that come together that go from your cervical all the way down your spine to your tailbone, okay? This basically creates our movement of our spine and helps to create greater movement. Our spine is allowed to move, it wants to move, it has to move, but at the same time it has to be stable. So you can see that having stability on this side and mobility from this side work together to keep your spine happy and healthy. I hope you learned a little bit today. Please read my book, we'll explain more. Brian Ritchie, Medical Exercise Specialist. Thanks a lot.